Hi, today I'm going to talk about the potential alternative governance form, which has been discussed in the future and how it's compared to decentralize the internet, aka distributed ledge. So there's numerous of discussions since the exhaustion of IPv4 addresses. Yes, the IR still need to be existed because they were primarily created to distribute IP addresses. And now that function has been fulfilled, should they continue to exist? If so, in which form? And uh, there is quite a few proposals, both from International uh, Telecommunication Union and various discussions on potentially sovereign power taking over part of its responsibility and uh, integrated into each government. Or there is intergovernmental organizations such as the International Atomic Energy Agency kind of model. This time, I'm gonna discuss why those models might not work and what's their province and uh, why the decentralized internet could potentially lead to the best compromise and also best way forward for all stakeholders concerned. First of all, what we need to understand is regional internet registry it solves a very simple problem. It's just a book. It's a yellow book that tells company A owns IPY. That's it. So this is a very simple technical problem. If you really look at its core, it can be simple as, uh, you know, some high school student could potentially do it in their homework. It's just a book. A book uh, where I kept record on oh, no, this IP belong to that company. The difficult bit and uh, the complicated bit is how are we going to coordinate such a simple book on a global scale? so everybody can agree. There's no laws, there's no international treaties, there's nothing in the world to actually say that ISP have to recognize regional internet registry as one true bookkeeper. That just doesn't exist. So why everybody recognize them? Because it's been a de facto tradition of the internet and that because everybody by default recognize them, so it's on a voluntary basis. And the proposed alternative solution will only complicate the problem. It's not gonna simplify the problem because the very reason we have already turned two gigabytes of database into a hundreds of million dollar budget and uh, hundreds of staff members, thousands of community members travel around the world problem is exactly because we use a centralized system. And a centralized system requires consensus, requires minority obey to majority, hence requires discussions, political fight, and all sorts of complicated problems which built in with the human nature. And if you move that further centralized and into bureaucratic system of international laws and the government, essentially you're just adding layers to a simple problem which already been made complicated by its existing layer. So how are we gonna simplify the problem? Well, as I talked in numerous other videos, decentralize, distribute a ledge, decentralize and let every ISP own their own record with their tokens on their own IP addresses and uh, the entire world will have the uniqueness guaranteed by the distributed ledge itself. It simplifies the problem. Just like any technical problem, simple is beautiful. But then there's also questions coming from a lot of sovereign players and the stakeholders from the government saying that how are we gonna regulate our industries? How are we gonna make sure those ISP not doing the bad things? Of course, there's different level of regulation and uh, different level of controls, different government exercise across the globe. But in a decentralized world where each of the companies owns their own token to the restriction of their number resources. The government could exercise the control according to the law empowers them. If they want total control, if the law allows, they can collect everybody's token and have a central management for that country within that border, of course. If their law says the private company must take responsibility for themselves, then it's an entire private enterprise technical problem where private enterprise coordinate with each other just use a token themselves and uh, the government have no say on their operations on 
that way. It really depends on what law says. And implementing the law within your border with a decentralized system is much easier compared to a coordinated centralized international body. There's really no guarantee any government, even the most powerful ones, can stay in control of a centralized system. And every time there's a power struggle among the nations, there's a political fight among nations, there's nationalism going on in some of the countries, you will see a potential destabilize of the system. And that can be seen in many examples in the past, where because of a political difference, ideological differences, some of the nation was being kicked out of the international system, and that causing a much pain to the service which provides the system to their citizens. And we don't want that happen to the internet. Because I consider the internet as the modern utility. It's as essential as water, electricity, and even air. The need of information in a digital age is the need of water and electricity for survival. And for such vital system, I really don't believe that we should subject that the stability of the system into political turbulence or economic turbulence or anything really. So by decentralizing and giving the tokens to each one of the enterprises, first, the government or the regulators can make a regulation within their borders and make decision for the company within their borders on how they should be operating the internet. If that the decentralization was not there, for example, today, there's really no way a country can make a fully autonomous decision about its internet. Because for example, if you are a regulator in Singapore, you can't really influence how your ISP use the IP address in their network because that decision is made in Australia by a private company there. You don't have a jurisdiction there. In a way, the existence of five regional internet registry taking away some of the sovereign powers of the nations they haven't been aware of. And by implement distributed ledge, there's no longer such power existed. Therefore, the sovereign nations can make a fully autonomous decision of their own internet at their time based on what their people want. And secondly, a centralized system which always requires a minority or base majority doesn't matter how you paint it, doesn't matter how it says in the RFC that we need a consensus. Why we need a consensus? We need a consensus because that's the only way to run a centralized database so that each everybody can connect to each other without using duplicated numbers. But if we have a distributed ledge, we will no longer need to have consensus. You are of the men of your own. Each network, each company is making decisions of their own according to the laws of their nation. They don't have to submit themselves to an unknown private company somewhere in the continent or even outside of the continent. That will make their confidence in running their own network much greater. That will make the regulator much more comfortable in exercising their full constitutional rights. That will make the internet more stable because in a distributed ledge, by definition, it's decentralized. Therefore, even one part have a problem, you will not impact the other part. And today, if there's a war happening in Netherlands, Australia, or Mauritius, the central restaurant being destroyed, then we might run the risk of losing the internet for a very long time. So going distributed ledge is really on the interest of all stakeholders. It's a necessity to fix the problem the current regional internet registry system have. As I have discussed in last videos, the regional internet registry was not built to handle today's commercial value of the IP addresses. Therefore, we have really two alternatives. Have a much bigger body, try to put a more bandit in already 
broken system try to make a bigger system to have a social economy jurisdiction cross agreed across 200 nations or we get rid of all the band-aid let everybody decide for themselves let every network every company every individual online decide what and how they're going to participate yes they can be bad players but so what if there's bad players the other player will refuse to play with them. A natural balance will be restored in the process. And this is what I believe, and to best of my knowledge, the only way forward for the internet. Thank you. See you next one.